Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a summary video about what went on in my channel in September and October 2016. There'll be more of these summary videos in the future. I went to my local sci-fi event, DEFCON 5, which is a charity event in aid of Click Sergeant in Southampton in the UK, and I finally got to test out my Hulkbuster suit. You may remember I tested this at last year's DEFCON and I couldn't walk but I've made several modifications to it since then, and fortunately everything went really well. Yes, I'm definitely walking in it, at least I'm going along. It wasn't the most comfortable thing to wear, and if I was rebuilding it, I think I'd probably make it totally different. But we had a lot of fun, and there were some very excited children. There was also a giant dinosaur there, and various other things, including an Atat. And I have my BB-8 and Gonk droids down there, which you can also see in the video about this event. I was exhibiting with So Make It, the Southampton Makerspace, which is a not-for-profit community-run workshop. I'm actually building a real working Iron Man inspired exosuit arm now which is going to make me really strong and this is the first go at one of the four axis. I'm using 3D printed gears and pulleys so we've got a gearbox pulling some cords, driving some blocks and tackles and all those are printed in Tormund Alloy 910. It's pretty strong, it's lifting 36 kilograms here, you can see the other tests in the project video as well as some of the R&D that I did beforehand. The next step is to speed this up a bit and make the whole thing lighter, shedding some of the steel bearings and the giant sprocket we've got here. I also spent some time in the last couple of months investigating hydraulics with Matt Denton and the Mantis robot. There are a couple of other videos in my channel with the full tech spec and overview and in fact a video where I drive it dressed as Iron Man. Now Matt worked as part of the Creature Effects team at Pinewood Studios on Star Wars Episode 7 and his team actually made the stage and the movie BB-8. So when we tested this out we put one of my BB-8s in the seat and drove it over Wi-Fi. I exhibited at TCT show in Birmingham with Lolzbot who support my channel. I have my BB-8 droids down there and the video of BB-8 running at Star Wars Celebration so I didn't have to demo it to every single person and I also have my Gonk droid down there. BB-8 had quite a lot of fun at the after show party, it was very popular as you'd expect. And once the dance floor had cleared a bit there was some space to drive it around in giant circles. Quite a few people didn't realise I was controlling it in fact, and thought they'd have some fun with it, but that was a good event. Another piece of droid news is that I've got my gonk droid walking dynamically stable on the spot, lifting its feet on each go. There's quite a lot of information in the video about this, and next month we will see gonk droid in fact walking along and the cosmetics being applied. The other big robotics project which is ongoing of course is Ultron which has its motion curves sorted after some tinkering around and some diagnostics and I've also got lighting installed as well as the force feedback sensors so I can now start working on the AI to make it react. You can check out all the playlists for those project series in my channel. I'm hoping to make more summary videos like this, perhaps some concentrating on specific projects and some on themes like robotics. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on these projects and other projects.